Welcome to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. I'm so glad you could be here. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single story. Today we'll be reading The Boy Who Cried Wolf, an Aesop's fable, retold in classic storybook fables, illustrated by Scott Gustafson. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, a group of villagers hired a boy to watch over their sheep. Day in and day out, he guarded the flock as they grazed upon the hillsides beyond the village gates. One afternoon, the shepherd boy grew tired of this job and wondered how he could liven things up. Looking down on the town from a hillside, he had an idea. Wolf! Wolf! he cried. A wolf is attacking the sheep! Upon hearing this, the townspeople dropped whatever they had been doing and grabbed rakes, shovels, sticks, and axes, anything that might help to protect their sheep from the hungry wolf, and ran to the boy, ready to fight. Ha <laughs> ha! The boy laughed when he saw their worried faces. You should see yourselves! I sure fooled you! <laughs> Grumbling, the villagers returned to the town. The next afternoon, the boy pulled the prank again. Wolf! Wolf! he cried. Oh, it's horrible! If only someone would help me! Within minutes, the villagers came running, just like they had the day before. Ha ha ha! the boy laughed. Tricked you again! On the way back to town, the angry villagers wondered if they had hired the wrong person to protect their flock. Shortly after the boy was left alone with the sheep, a wolf leaped out of the forest. Wolf! Wolf! cried the boy. Help! A wolf is attacking the sheep! The townspeople, who had just gotten back to the village, heard the cries, but they only shook their heads. Tomorrow we'll hire someone who isn't always trying to make fools out of us, they said as they returned to their homes. Without help, the boy was no match for the wolf, and it soon carried off all the sheep it wanted. The boy ran to town crying, Why didn't anyone come when I called? You should know by now, boy, said the mayor. No one believes a liar, even when he's telling the truth. Until next time, discover the wonder in a book. Pick one up. Take a look. For more Aesop's fables and other classic stories, subscribe to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Thank you so much.